Hi, it's Ewan Hills again from Artmob. I'm here today to tell you about another exhibition we're launching here in Hobart that happens to coincide with Dark Mofo. And as you're probably aware, Dark Mofo has a demonic theme in it. We thought long and hard about what work we could show and what was better than Biddy Dale's Argolas. You'll see 44 Argola paintings here. And you might say, what's an Argola? Okay, if you go out to the West Kimberley or the Kimberley in general, you'll find paintings on the rock walls that symbolise little danger signs. And these little figures are called, or spirit figures, are called Argolas. Now the Aboriginal people up there will tell you that an Argola is a spirit creature or a devil spirit that lives in a cave. And their favourite food happens to be coloured lizards. Now, you've all heard the boogeyman story. Parents will say, look, if you don't behave and eat your dinner or stop watching television so much, or whatever it might be, the boogeyman will come and get you. But they might say the argola will come and get you. Now, the argola is a thief, and you can see here, he's got his bag here of goodies that he's taught all the other argolas how to thieve from other people. They steal anything. Now, they also steal these children. So they come and grab these kids who have been playing up and put them in the bottom of their cave. Now, while the parents are trying to find where these kids are, the argler is yakking at them, so much so that he makes these children deaf. Now, parents come and try and lure these arglers away so the kids can escape. So they present them with these coloured lizards, and their favourite food, and the kids can escape. So the kids go back home, but they can't hear anything. So the parents have to get in the, the special man who has a special Jumba dance that um, heals them of their deafness. These arglers um, have been painted by Jack Dale and his wife Biddy Dale for many, many years. Jack passed away about three years ago, but this major body of work was done in the early 2000s, 2001, 2002. So what do they depict though? You'll see some with um, gender, quite explicit. You'll see some with cobwebs over their heads because that's where they hang out in the caves. You'll see some with devil's horns or cow's horns going back to an ancient story from the Kimberley about a woman who got taken away by the devils and hung out with them so much that she came back with cow horns on. You'll see other ones um, with their, their robber's bags. You'll see other ones with even two heads. They're not Tasmanian though. They are a lot of fun. They lend themselves to not single purchases, perhaps multiple purchases. So they fit in really well with the Dark Mofo Festival here in Hobart. I encourage you to come in and have a look at them. They are an amazing spectacle. Thank you very much.